you may not take interest in politics, but politics will take interest in you. So the same applies to AI many times over. That was Isla Sutskever, co-founder and former chief scientist of OpenAI, delivering a blunt message to students at the University of Toronto. His point? You can ignore AI, but AI won't ignore you. It's already reshaping the world in ways we don't fully understand. And we're seeing it everywhere. In South Korea, schools are experimenting with AI-powered tutors that analyze each student's learning style and adapt in real time. In India, the government just announced an AI-based portal to assist farmers with crop planning, resource management, and yield forecasts. And in the U.S., companies like Klarna cut support staff by over 75% after implementing AI chatbots that that reportedly handled two-thirds of all customer service queries without human help. So when Isla says we're entering the most unusual time in human history, it's not abstract. It's observable. In just one sentence, Sutskever laid out the reason he believes AI will eventually be capable of everything humans can do. The brain is a biological computer, and computers can be replicated. Let's zoom out and see how that's already playing out. In March 2023, OpenAI's GPT-4 passed the Uniform Bar Exam in the 90th percentile. A model trained on public data with no formal legal education outperformed thousands of law students. Meanwhile, Google's Gemini 1.5 Pro stunned the AI community by processing over a million tokens in a single session, meaning it can analyze hundreds of pages of legal, medical, or financial data in real time. These are signs that reasoning, memory, and abstraction, once thought to be uniquely human, are now being simulated with surprising accuracy. And it's not stopping there. Palantir, a company working with the U.S. military, has begun deploying AI models for battlefield logistics and strategy simulations. These systems don't just follow commands. They help make decisions. So yes, AI might not have a conscious brain, but it's learning to operate like one, faster than most people realize. So we believe, as an industry, that in the next one year, the vast majority of programmers will be replaced by AI programmers. That's Eric Schmidt, former CEO of Google, with what might be the most direct forecast we've heard so far. But we won't repeat what you just saw. Instead, let's look at how that's showing up right now. At Amazon, AI tools are actively being developed to assist with code generation and auditing, but they've also raised new concerns. In 2024, a major vulnerability was discovered when a researcher exploited Amazon's AI coding assistant using a prompt injection, highlighting how even advanced systems can be manipulated through malicious inputs. Over at Meta, their internal tool, Code Compass, is already in production. According to internal research, it it now contributes to roughly 8% of developers' code, reproducing correct lines up to 58% of the time. Engineers report that it speeds up routine development, helps discover APIs faster, and reduces boilerplate, especially during large-scale builds. Meanwhile, startups like Cognosys are pushing the limits of AI autonomy. Their platform lets users delegate multi-step tasks, like summarizing documents, handling research, or even creating project blueprints. This isn't about replacing coders someday. It's already happening quietly, incrementally, inside companies most people use every day. And what comes next? That's where it gets even harder to wrap your head around. One way to say this is that within three to five years, we'll have what is called general intelligence, AGI. What Schmidt just said is no longer a fringe prediction. It's increasingly what insiders at leading AI labs now consider possible. AGI, artificial general intelligence, could arrive within the next five years. We're not talking about narrow AI that finishes sentences or organizes emails. AGI refers to systems that can reason, adapt, and solve problems across disciplines. Just like humans, but ultimately faster, cheaper, and often more accurately. At Google's DeepMind's IO 2025 conference, CEO Demas Hasebus emphasized that their improved Gemini models with deep think reasoning capabilities are laying the groundwork for general intelligence, and he projected AGI within five to 10 years. Meanwhile, OpenAI CEO Sam Altman has said that AGI is on the horizon and that current research is focused on safely and incrementally unlocking 
unlocking those capabilities. Across research circles, the shift is clear. The question is no longer if AGI is possible, but how soon it arrives, and how we navigate it responsibly. One of the most overlooked shifts right now is the rise of agentic systems, AI setups that don't just respond to commands, but carry out full tasks end-to-end -end with memory, context, and reasoning. Eric Schmidt gave an oversimplified example of AI agents buying a house, managing contractors, and filing lawsuits. But what's happening in real life might be more impressive. In early 2023, AutoGPT became the first open source AI agent to gain mass attention. Built on GPT-4, it could plan, make decisions, and execute tasks across tools with minimal prompts. Now, more advanced systems are entering real workflows. Devon, built by Cognition Labs, can write code, fix bugs, run tests, and deploy applications, handling technical projects end-to-end. -end. While its early demos sparked debate, its benchmark results showed real capability. In September 2024, Salesforce launched Agent Force, designed to automate entire business processes, including CRM data, scheduling meetings, and managing customer workflows in real time. Even governments are testing these tools. In the UK, AI agents are helping evaluate and process school funding applications. The shift is clear. Once AI has memory, feedback loops, and the ability to take action, it stops being just a tool. It becomes a coworker. This is where most of the conversation misses the point. AI isn't just replacing humans, it's replacing processes. In government, Estonia has piloted AI tools to assist with small claims contract disputes up to 7,000 euro. AI helps assess documents and prepare decisions, which can always be appealed by a human judge. In finance, JP Morgan's coin platform now reviews legal contracts in seconds, smashing through 360,000 hours of annual legal workload, cutting operational costs by nearly 30% and reducing errors by approximately 80%. In manufacturing, Siemens is deploying agent-based systems that automate process workflows, like rerouting materials across global supply chains and programming industrial automation with potential productivity gains nearing 50%. This isn't just about removing jobs. It's about removing entire layers of work, legal, logistical, administrative. Both Isla Sutskever and Eric Schmidt agree on one thing. The pace of AI development is outstripping society's ability to make sense of it. Sutskever admitted in his speech that even he struggles to emotionally internalize what's coming. Schmidt put it more bluntly, there's no language in our legal or political systems to deal with what's unfolding and that gap is becoming more visible. In April 2024, over a thousand AI researchers and tech leaders signed an open letter through the Future of Life Institute, calling for a temporary pause on training models more powerful than GPT-4. The reason? They claimed we lack oversight, safety protocols, and meaningful regulation to guide the deployment of frontier models. Still, those models were released anyway. Meanwhile, lawmakers in the US and EU are scrambling to catch up. The European Union passed the AI Act in March 2024, but critics argue it's already outdated. In the US, multiple Senate hearings have been held, yet no comprehensive AI regulation has passed. And as Schmidt warned in testimony last year, by the time legislation catches up, we'll already be in the next phase of development. While people debate ChatGPT's tone or accuracy, three quiet breakthroughs are doing the real heavy lifting in AI's acceleration. First, context windows. Models like Gemini 1.5 and Claude 3 Opus can now remember and analyze entire books, documents, or data sets in a single conversation. That means long-term reasoning, step-by-step -step planning, and even reviewing code bases or legal contracts with full context. Second, agents with persistent memory. Unlike chatbots, these agents remember past interactions, learn from feedback, and adapt their behavior over time. Think of it like an intern who becomes a strategist, one who never forgets anything and works 24-7. And third, 
Third, text to code generation. You describe what you want and the AI builds the software. Microsoft's Autodev, Replit's Ghostwriter, and Meta's Code Compose are all pushing this forward, making non-coders into product builders overnight. All three of these aren't coming soon. They're already being used inside Fortune 500 companies and startups alike. Isla Sutskever closed his talk with a reminder. Whether you pay attention to AI or not, it's going to shape your life. And the faster you understand what it's doing now, the better prepared you'll be for what's next. But his warning wasn't about fear. It was about focus. Seeing what AI can already do right now is the first step to understanding what's coming next. Because we're not looking at a tool anymore. We're watching something grow. And it's not slowing down. If you made it this far, let us know what you think in the comment section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.